Hey guys, it's Pierre from Geo Designs. In this video, I want to share with you one of my secret tips when it comes to outreach and something that I learned the hard way over the past decade working as a UI UX and a web designer. And that is to approach the outreach with video links and specifically Loom links. So how does this work? This is essentially going to be the same principle, whether you apply on Upwork or a job board, a freelancer, if you do email marketing, if you do LinkedIn or Twitter outreach, the principle is exactly the same because these are all communication methods. And uh, if you think about it, at the end of the day, you're connecting with uh, humans, uh, no matter what the platform. And uh, essentially the way it works is, uh, when I go on a site on, on Upwork, and I'm going to use Upwork as an example, but again, this applies to all of the other platforms really. And uh, I apply for a job. All of these guys, uh, all of these uh, freelancers and contractors uh, are for the most part doing the same thing, which is either copying and pasting a template which they already have, uh, or maybe they're creating something personalized, the ones that are a little bit on, on the higher notch. And, but uh, very, very few, and I can tell you because I hired uh, many contractors over the years, uh, are actually going to take a moment and record a personalized video, which uh, by the way, doesn't need to be a very long video. It can be something very simple. And uh, by doing this, uh, you're actually exponentially increasing the chances of you getting hired. And uh, it's something that I've been using in past uh, years whenever I had to do outreach. And uh, my replies rate just went over the roof uh, when I did this uh, because uh, it takes a very, a very short amount of time, but uh, having the ability to see uh, who is the person who is applying for the job, you already understand uh, quite a, a few things and you also have that personal human touch, uh, which really makes you stand out uh, across the crowd. So what I would usually do is to use a tool like uh, Loom because it enables me to create uh, all sorts of uh, videos uh, in a very short and easy way. And uh, basically what uh, you can do in order to make uh, your work, uh, uh, your outreach uh, easier when you're shooting these videos uh, is to have uh, speaker notes. So for example, over here, you can uh, draft uh, a very basic outline. I wouldn't use like a, a full script uh, because that's uh, not something that uh, uh, I, I think it's going to make you sound robotic. It's going to be like the same for, for every job post. And I tried that in the past, but didn't really like it. So what uh, I recommend you to do is to go through a three steps uh, process. Uh, meaning that uh, this, these videos, which are usually one to two minutes long, usually have a very short introduction to who you are and uh, what you can help them with. And uh, at the very beginning, I'm going to mention uh, the job board or the job post that I'm applying to. And uh, so saying things like, hey, I noticed that you're looking for a UI UX designer who's a uh, available part-time and it's experienced in the companies and uh well i i think i'm i'm a perfect fit for that so something around these lines of course i'm, I'm making this up it's going to sound better you're going to think through it uh, but something around those lines so that uh, you can immediately establish that uh, you think you're a good match for that specific request that they have then you can uh, show them uh, very very briefly <clears throat> maybe a link uh, to your website where they can see their prof your portfolio. <coughs> Sorry, I am not going to guide them through a project. I'm not going to do like a live case study um, because uh, for the very most part, I just want them to take the time uh, to, to do that at their own pace. Uh, I don't want to bore them. So just, just letting them know, hey, this is why you should uh, uh, hire me and uh, why I think I'm a good fit. So you can show past experience uh, that match uh, what uh, they're looking for. And then at the very end, a simple call to action, which is going to be either 
booking a call. So you can uh, leave a Calendly link, or it can even be software uh, of a call to action, uh, such as uh, saying, uh, hey, are you in need of this design, uh, or of design services, of development services? And that would be in the case that uh, you're doing cold outreach. So you're not using a job board uh, or you know, you're not going through a job posting. So that's going to be for more colder audiences, if you wish. And uh, if you do the math, uh, if you do just uh, five of these one to two minute videos uh, per day, in the span of 10 days, you already did 50 videos. In the span of a month, uh, it's 150 videos, which doesn't seem like a lot. Uh, numbers wise, uh, especially if you're um, looking at doing cold outreach via email, you know, and there's people doing and sending thousands of uh, cold emails. But the issue is that uh, for every one of these uh, outreach that you're doing, uh, the likelihood and the impact uh, is much higher than a copy and paste uh, cold email that you're you're spamming in, in mass because uh, it's just going to have that extra human touch uh, where you're going really deep in an, in that attempt of connection with the person uh, and uh, you're just going to stand out much more than someone who's uh, doing copy and paste uh, emails and copying them everywhere. So I hope this video was helpful and uh, if you want to learn more about outreach in general and uh, how you can find uh, design development clients, uh, uh, I'm actually uh, creating some um, more videos around this. Uh, so if you have any topic in particular that you want me to address, uh, just uh, leave uh, a comment below and uh, I'll uh, get at it.